Hello Aries, I hope you are well. Welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and here is your Aries Tarot reading for November 2019. Hello Aries, the decks I'm using this month are the Druid Animal Oracle deck and I'm also using the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. So let's see what card we have for you for the general energies. We have the Blackbird. Okay, so the words that go with this card are Enchantment the gateway and your inner call and the main message that's coming through for you for this month is look out for hidden messages look out for signs especially if you've got a dream or a, a goal or there's something you want to achieve next month and the blackbird has shown himself to ask you to take a look at the pathway you're following as well um, are you following your true spiritual pathway? Now, the blackbird lives in both the physical and the spiritual realms. And it's important to pay attention to both worlds this month. To both your physical reality, but also your dreams. And also your spiritual growth. Are you fulfilling your soul's desire? And what is your inner calling telling you as you hear this message? So the blackbird is a messenger. So look out for him this month. What does he have for you for the realms of spirit? Is he bringing you much needed healing? He will show you the promise of what is to come this month. A new day, a new beginning, a new growth and you can call on the energy of the blackbird if you require that healing he will bring you calmness and tranquility and he is also a bird of protection so call on his energy if you feel you need assistance with this he is a leader amongst the birds so where will he lead you this month what an amazing card there is. Okay, we will leave him over here. We will leave his energy on the table. And this month I'm going back to a Celtic cross spread. I always do what I feel drawn to. And this is how I feel this month. Okay. So. Try and get it so that we get all the cards on the table if I can. I'm not sure because I am using a different table. Mm. Try and keep him in if I can. Okay, be a tight squeeze, but I'll show them to the camera anyway. Okay, and the card that we have at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. So who will you be giving your energy to this month? This is kind of a reminder to um, not give your energy to things that no longer serve you or things that are not actually giving anything back. There's This is the card of balance as well. Um, so it's watch your pennies. Great saying that my mum used to say is, if you watch your pennies, the pounds will look after themselves. So even little bits of money. Watch where your money's going. Watch where your energy is going. Watch what you're doing with your energy. Okay. I'll leave that one down there. In fact, we'll leave them on top of that one so we can see them. Okay. So let's see what the significator is for you. And it is reversed, the Ace of Wands. 
Now, if you've listened to my readings before, you'll know I do not do reverse meanings in the tarot, but only that if it shows itself reversed, then there is a blockage in that particular energy or there's something that you're not particularly seeing. The Ace of Swords is a triumph card, but it's triumph over thoughts, beliefs, intellect. So there's a breakthrough coming for you this month. It's almost like an aha moment, I feel. Something's going to happen and you're just everything is going to just logically fall into place. But it may well be that something that you thought... It's, there's a twist there for me. I feel there's a twist, but a successful twist. Okay, so what's stopping you moving forward? And we have the star, a major arcana. It is the card of focus. As you can see, there's one great big star in the sky, loads around the edge. She's pouring water onto land and things. She's not really watching what she's doing. And the words that come to mind with this card are when you wish upon a star. So this is about sorting out your focus, clearing your focus, your soul purpose. This is very much a spiritual growth month for you. Um, looking at what your true purpose is in life. And staying focused on that one dream. Okay, so what's led up to this? And we have the strength card reversed. So I do feel for lots of you, um, you have been pulled back. You have been, patience has been required and things haven't worked out quite as you wanted them to work out. And it's almost as though you've put 200% effort in and you've had to step back for whatever reason or it's not necessarily that you've stepped back even I just feel that it's um that you've put loads of effort in but you're not reaping what you sow yet maybe maybe it's because the energy is going to the wrong place maybe you're giving your energy to the wrong person there's definitely an issue around what you were doing and what you're going to be doing in the coming month. It's, it, it's almost like a complete shift in energy. Okay, so what does your subconscious have to say? Game reversed. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Because the only person that is affected by your worries is you. So even if you don't think you're worried, subconsciously you are worried. This is about setting all your intentions and all your thoughts onto that one focus as well. Okay, and what do we have in your higher conscious? What does your higher conscious have to say to you? The King of Wands. What a beautiful card to have in your higher conscious spirit self. With this card, for me, it's either yourself, your higher self talking to you, or it's someone from the spirit world. This, as it's a king, it could well be a strong, dominant male figure in the spirit world that's guiding you, a father or grandfather figure. If you can't take that somebody in the spirit world would be guiding you, then this is the strengths, spirit are giving you the strengths of the king of wands. To make, giving you that passion, giving you that fire, giving you that inspiration to make it happen. How beautiful. Okay, so here and now, Aries. We have the emperor, the father figure. So there is definitely a strong male presence. This could well be, if you're a male and you're watching this, this could be you. This could be that you're at this point in life you're that figure of authority people are looking up to you but along with the emperor comes strength security 
so i feel that this is a phase in your life where at last you're going to feel more secure with who you are and where you're going again if you're female it could well be that there is a strong male presence and also i want to say that the emperor is 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 the card for aries so it's almost as though there's a, a massive spiritual push for all aries this month to fulfill your true purpose okay so what do you need to do next and we have the ten of swords a lot of people don't like this card but i never see any negativity in the tarot to me this is a it's over it's done it's done and dusted it's an ending of a particular certain situation so you can expect that if it hasn't happened already for you then there is an ending but a much needed ending a much needed conclusion because i feel that that's what's affected the focus as well okay so this is your outer world and how others will affect you this month and we have the teacher the hierophant again a figure of authority learning so i feel that someone's going to come into your life who's going to do more than just chat there's someone there is going to actually teach you and also i don't know become a mentor but there's someone new coming in and i feel that's around the 10th so look for meetings um surprise connections on that day or around that day give or take a few days each way but there's a new connection that's actually going to be have a lot more for you there's something there for you to learn as well so something new is coming in for you to learn and i don't sense that any of this reading so far is about a relationship i sense this is all about you and your journey okay so in your hopes and fears we have again reversed the eight of wands now the eight of wands is very simple everything is up in the air as it's in your fears position um I feel that this is something that you need to really work on for the month of November. With your focus, it's almost as though putting down the right foundations and not putting down too many. Um, it's almost as though you could be spread too thinly and you have too many projects or too many things going on and the star is asking you to focus the eight is asking you to focus and remember the overall overall energy is the sixth six of pentacles which is asking you to what watch what you do with your energy and your money okay so let's see what your final outcome is aries for november brilliant and we have the three of wands and what i noticed first of all is we started the reading with the yellow and we're ending the reading with the yellow, which is a bright, uplifting, uh, wisdom filled colour. Now, the three of wands, he's looking out to sea and he's set his ships a sail and he's waiting for them to come in. Look at the firm foundations that he has around him. So it's almost as though things will fall into place this month. Things will be cemented where you feel they might be up in the air, where you might be not feeling sure whether this is your what you should be doing. Remember the blackbird. He's going to come with that message. He's going to give you signs. So if you're looking for an answer, ask for his advice. Set those intentions this month. There will be an ending to a certain situation. And there'll also be a lot of strength and security coming through for you from both the spirit world but also from your own inner being brilliant aries i hope you have a fantastic november if this reading resonates with you in any way please let me know in the comments 
And please also take a look at my other pick a card readings if you're looking for a specific answer. They're all in the description below. Have a beautiful month. Please subscribe to my channel. Bless you all.